Bankers want to put more money into the pockets of certain Alabamians and bring more employees into the workforce. A pre-filed pre bill would increase the amount state agencies and schools can pay state retirees a year while they still receive retirement benefits. The sponsor is calling this a return to work bill. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis tells us why. Leanne Kelly represents Alabama's retired teacher. She says retirement doesn't cover as much as it used to. Inflation's hit them, you know, their benefits, you know, by 20% less than it was eight to 10 years ago. The Alabama Department of Corrections lacks nearly 700 corrections officers, and the state is short almost 600 teachers. Supporters say this bill would fix both problems. I call it the post-retirement return to work salary cap increase. $37,000 is how much retirees can earn working part-time for the state without having to stop their retirement benefits. Representative Rex Reynolds' bill would increase that to $52,000, and the money would come from the hiring department's budget. There might be cities that could use, use that at a smaller salary, maybe increase the number of hours that an employee is able to work. Time. There is concern about this bill from both senators who chair the Education Trust Fund Committee and General Fund Committee. Allow uh, employees to somewhat uh, double dip. This could hurt RSA in the long run. Senator Arthur Orr says they should increase state employee salaries and look at other ways to address the employee shortage. I did have a uh, bill getting drafted to address the school resource officer shortage. Reynolds' proposed increased pay would expire in 2027. The governor, uh, the legislature, uh, they'll be able to come up uh, with, with the solution of getting people back to the state workforce. Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. The legislative session starts Tuesday. That's the same day the governor will deliver her State of the State address. You'll see her speech live at 6 p.m. Tuesday on WSFA 12 News and on the 12 News app. And that will be followed by the Democratic response from Representative Anthony Daniels. WSFA 12 News at 6 will follow that coverage.